Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokémon. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokémon. For some people, Pokémon are pets. Others use them for fights. But we don't know everything about Pokémon yet. There's still many mysteries to solve. That's where you come in. Next year, the world of Pokémon will get a lot bigger with the release of Pokémon Go, allowing Pokémon to be caught in the real world using Android and iOS devices. Now, for the first time, you can explore your own city, or anywhere else in the world, to catch, collect, trade, and battle hundreds of different kinds of Pokémon. Your very own Pokémon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokémon awaits. Let's go! Welcome to Team Rocket Go News! My name is Nova. Our top story today, on the 16th of December, VentureBeat.com posted an interview with Niantic CEO and super nerd John Hankey, as well as Niantic's Chief Marketing Officer Mike Quigley. Niantic is of course the company that alongside Nintendo is developing Pokemon Go. They are also known for their game Ingress, which has been downloaded over 7 million times and is a totally awesome game. It is a great interview, and the link to VentureBeat is down below if you are interested in reading it. In it, Hanky released some previously unknown and interesting details about Pokemon Go. Hanky said, quote, Our goal is to make it so that you can walk out of your house and within five minutes you can find Pokemon. It may not be the most rare Pokemon in the world, but there will be a population of Pokemon living near all our players. So, if you don't live in a major city or can't travel much for Pokemon Go, don't worry. Hanky said they worked with the design goal of a town with a population of a thousand to accommodate more rural players. He said, quote, we'll make sure you can play it anywhere. Hanky also said, quote, Pokemon will live in different parts of the world depending on what type of Pokemon they are. Water Pokemon will live near the water. It may be that certain Pokemon will only exist in certain parts of the world. Very rare Pokemon may exist in very few places. Trainers who played the Fire Red and Leaf Green versions of Pokemon, some of my favorites, may remember that the Pokedex had Pokemon listed by their habitats. These are as follows. Grassland Forest Water's Edge Sea Cave Mountain Rough Terrain Urban and Rare now, based on what Hanky is saying, it seems pretty safe to assume that Pokemon Go will use some sort of a system similar to the habitats, but anything beyond that would just be speculation. Hanky also said, quote, Gyms will be a bit more rare than wild Pokemon. You want to find gyms so you can level up your Pokemon and battle there, so it will take a little more effort to get there. In the Pokemon Go trailer, we see locations labeled Fort in both the city and highland areas. It's possible that these correspond to gyms within the urban and mountain habitats. Hanky also stressed the importance of trading in Pokemon Go, which has of course been a staple of the series since its beginning. Hanky says, quote, You can trade. If you live in a place with lots of water Pokemon and you come to an event, we'll have events for Pokemon. Those are competitive, but they can also be places to trade stuff with other players. Pokemon trading is going to be huge. You can't get them all by yourself. If you want all of them, you'll have to trade with other players. Or you'll have to be someone who takes time off work and travels the world for a year. There may be people who do that. He also said that events from the launch of the game are a pretty safe bet. These would likely resemble Ingress Anomalies, which are the largest official Ingress events. It's possible this is also the raid we see with Mewtwo in the trailer, although there's no reason to expect that events will always feature legendary Pokémon. Hanky also spoke on the subject of teams, saying, quote, There will be teams to join in Pokémon. More than two. Those teams will compete against one another. End quote. He said it was similar to how the main series games have, quote, different gyms and teams and trainers. In the trailer, we see forts that are both red and blue, but apparently there are more teams than just that. It appears that teams are able to capture locations similar to as in Ingress, but how the territory control mechanic will affect the rest of the game remains to be seen. At one point, he said there would be a narrative in Pokemon Go, but didn't give any more information than that. However, he did mention the way Ingress handles their storytelling, how there is an official story, but the players shape the course of that story through the events. It seems probable that Pokemon Go will function similarly. On the subject of augmented reality technologies like Microsoft HoloLens and Magic Leap, he said, quote, We don't need AR devices for our game, but they would make our style of game even more exciting. Hanky said that Game Freak's Junichi Masuda, quote, advises us on game design for Pokemon and helps make sure that we keep true to the franchise, the history of all the handheld games they've done. 
They're so excited about this as a new version of the game that's never been done before. This is a Pokemon experience that's brand new, and yet it goes back to the very origin of the franchise. It's about a kid who goes out into the world and finds Pokemon. It's the most basic expression of that concept. Finally, in regards to the exploration aspect, he says, quote, The places that you'll interact with in the real world, historical sites, artwork, prominent or special local businesses, those will play a role in Pokemon Go. That same mechanic of encouraging people to take a walk in the park, to go explore a nook or a cranny in a part of the city that they haven't been to before so they can find a new Pokemon, that will be at work. Measuring how far people have walked and all that will have specific payoffs for players in Pokemon Go. Team Rocket Go News is dedicated to bringing you the latest updates in the world of Pokemon Go. When the game launches next year, we will need your help collecting reports and information about it. As you explore this new world and learn about the Pokemon within, we want your contribution. Send us a 30 second video about what you've learned, and it could be featured on an episode of Team Rocket Go News. Team Rocket is always looking for new recruits, and we would love to have you join us. Please like and share this video, and if you want to stay up to date on the latest Pokemon Go news, please subscribe. You can join our Facebook group at Team Rocket Go, or follow us on Twitter or Instagram at Team Rocket underscore Go. Join us and extend your reach to the stars above today. Thank you for joining us. This is Nova blasting off for Team Rocket Go news.